In this short video, I'll be talking about purchasing a USB A to a female coupler. You probably might be thinking, hey, I can just attach this to a USB cable, like USB C, and or a regular lightning cable, and bam, I can attach it to something like a flash drive and so forth no it will not work that way so if I this is my iPhone if I connect this see this is a regular lightning cable which I connect to my phone which I could connect to let's say a USB flash drive that won't work but maybe it, it was something simpler. You wanted to use it with the mouse. It won't work. Or you wanted to use with a keyboard like this. A USB keyboard. It won't work. And the main reason why is this is a coupler. It's a coupler. So it couples a USB-A connection to another USB-A connection. So point being is you're going from USB A, which is fine over here, but this is not an adapter that converts from USB A to Lightning. We need an adapter to convert this connection over. And that's where this thing comes in. You need an OTG adapter to convert this connection into this thing over here for it to work. So again, if you're just thinking of using a regular lightning cable or a regular keyboard USB cable, I mean, lightning cable or USB-C cable to connect to your phone or tablet and then hook it to a flash drive or a mouse or keyboard, it won't work. So that's the main purpose of this video I wanted to show you. It just won't work with this type of coupler. This is a generic coupler that costs two dollars, USB A to USB A. So what you need is an OTG adapter or OTG cable like this, which will properly convert over the USB connection. So this will convert USB A over to Lightning. This will convert USB A over to USB-C. So hopefully that answers a big question about why it doesn't work. Actually, that's not even a, a real uh, real answer. I'm just telling you, if you want it to, to get this to work, you'll still need, in, in the listing for this item over here, they mentioned this is not an OTG cable or adapter. You need this. Now, what does it do? It does allow you to extend a specific cable. So this is where you can actually use it. You can use this with a regular USB-A to USB-A male cable. So if you have one of these lying around, which you probably don't, you can connect it to one side like this. And so what you're doing is it acts just as an extension cable, as long as you have this A to A cable. And now you can insert a peripheral, like this mouse over here. You can insert your uh, USB flash drive, because these are all USB-A devices. You can hook up your USB mouse and even a USB hub onto this other side now. And then hook this up to, let's say, a computer and it will work fine. So this is the configuration that will work. Okay? So that's how the coupler works. It works as a USB-A extension. But you need this USB-A to usb a cable 
And so if I were to plug this to a computer, it worked perfectly fine, which I don't have a computer lying around. Let's see, I do. I'm going to open my Chromebook. I got my computer. And again, if you try to hook up the adapter uh, a certain way that has like lights on it, you'll notice that it won't even power on. So this Belkin adapter, had I attached it like this, so I'm going to show you the incorrect way of using it. I have my tablet here on the right hand side. And I'm going to try to attach it using a USB-C cable. So this is the wrong way. And when, uh, again, I need an OTG adapter to convert the USB-A connection to a USB-C connection. Even though it looks like it should work because this is just a regular cable. You can see it doesn't light up. Now, if I switch this over, instead, now I use this USB-A extender cable and I attach it now to a OTG adapter. This is an OTG adapter, A to Lightning, an A to C. Now when I use this, you'll see that this is, this USB hub is going to light up now once I plug it in. It lights up and I'm actually able to use it if I plug this into the keyboard, I mean the mouse. I can use the mouse and you can see the screen move because the mouse is working. Uh, let me go use this for my laptop. Again, this is the main way you can use it. As long as you have a USB A to A connector, you can connect it to this coupler over here. Plug into USB a connector input for the laptop you can see it lit up and you can't see over here but I have a mouse working it's lit up and it works and I'll just open Chrome over here to show you I was able to open up Chrome using the mouse over here now close it using the mouse this USB keyboard over here, I can plug into the USB hub. I'm getting to the point where too many devices might be hooked up. And I can, I'm pressing the Windows key and it opens that on the computer. In theory, I can attach this now. So long story short is, one, I want to show when it doesn't work, which is most of the cases that most people probably bought it. They're hoping to use their USB lightning cable like this with their iPhone or a USB-C cable with the phone. And then attach it to either, let's say, a mouse or attach it to a flash drive using this thing over here. But it won't work. You need an OTG cable. This does not convert over A to a different lightning over to A. Yeah. You probably get to say that my explanation is bit bad, and it is. I'm just, I'm what I'm just trying to show you is the behavior of what works and what doesn't. My explanation and execution is horrible. And uh, I think my last point was, I think that's it. So again, if you want to be able to use your phone with an accessory, like a mouse or a keyboard or a USB flash drive. You need to purchase a OTG cable or OTG adapter, something like this or this. When you go on to the web, just look for OTG and adapter. If you plug this in, this will definitely work. Right now it's not lighted, but when I plug it in, it's going to light up, meaning most likely it'll work.
So I'll reiterate. When does this USB coupler work? This female to female coupler work? It works as an extension to a USB A connection over here, USB A cable, male to male. It can extend it. So very limited usage, very limited usage, and hopefully that helps some people. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention was I searched over the web, and a lot of people said you you shouldn't do that because it'll break things. But at the very least, I just wanted an explanation of when does it work, or just not even an explanation. When does it work? So this is the one use case where it works, where you have a cable like this connect it to the coupler, and then you attach it to a USB-A device. Over and out.